Hi everyone and welcome to the final video in my Travelling with Pens uh, series. This is the third uh, video and covers the last of my pens and we'll just do a, a vague sort of uh, summary of what I'm travelling with. The last of these pens is the Traveller's Company uh, Brass Fountain Pen, also known as the Bullet Fountain Pen. Uh, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail about this pen in this video because I have just done a review of it, which I will link below and hopefully put uh, a little icon somewhere up here. I think it's going to be there, somewhere there. Uh, and yeah, I think it's a, a really, really great little pen uh, and perfect for this sort of use. Uh, obviously being made of brass, it will patina and it has patina and I've polished it up a little bit since the review. Uh, you'll get fingerprints all over it and all that. but the weight and stability that the material provides makes it a perfect traveling pen. Now it is designed to be a, com a companion to say the traveler's notebook or something like that. Uh, and I will be using my own uh, notebook and bullet journal uh, for well, with this pen. Um, but it is a really lovely little pen. Now, yes, it is a small pen. Uh, once again, please excuse the ink on my hands. You, you all know what that's like. Um, it's a small pen in this format, fits perfectly in the pocket uh, or in you know, the front of a notebook, things like that. But when you remove the section, place it into the barrel or the cap, you do get a really lovely sized pen for writing. It has an exceptionally fine and well-tuned fine nib. Uh, it's a beautiful nib and uh, I'm using this with the Traveller's Blue Black Ink cartridges, which are it's a nice sort of light blue black sort of color uh, and it's a relatively dry ink uh, and with that fine nib makes this perfect for writing on just about any paper. Uh, you can use filled notes which is not great for fountain pens. You can use sticky notes, you can use just about anything and yeah you're not going to get too much of a bad result. So this pen is literally going to travel in my pocket the entire trip. Um, I'm going to Europe for three weeks um, for work and holiday and so this is you know it's a it's going to be really a traveling pen uh, I got this from bookbinders an Australian uh, online and brick and mortar uh, pen and stationery shop uh, check out their website also linked down below uh, and it is you know in Australia for about a hundred bucks um, 90 to 100 so you do get but you do get a good quality pen uh, for that price so this is the final um, member of my traveling party uh, and we'll be doing quite a lot of everyday writing, um, jotting down times of things and um, taking notes of phone numbers, etc. All those sorts of things that you do while traveling uh, around. So what else besides that do I have? Just to recap, well, here's the pencil case that I'm taking, the Lehit Labs Smart Fit sort of compact case. I've got all my normal sort of work stuff, the rulers, the uh, Palomino Blackwing pencils, a, a roller ball, a uh, ballpoint, sorry, um, highlighter, all those sorts of things that I need for my work. And then I've got the fountain pen side. Uh, I have the, the Visconti Travelling Ink Pot uh, with Dimine Twilight, uh, which is also in the VAC 700 Twispy pen, uh, which would be sort of the, the main sort of uh, writing pen that I use. I've got the Lamy Safar, Lamy Ulsa, sorry, in the blue, and the Jinhao X450, which are both being used for cartridges, and I'm taking converters for both, uh, in case I happen to pick up some ink along the way. Uh, in terms of the cartridges, as I have shown already, I've got my little container here, um, a couple of little adjustments to it, but Traveller's Ink cartridges, Lamy cartridges, an assortment of different colours for uh, the pens depending on what mood I'm in when I go to ink the pen uh, and the converters. So between all of this I have a really nice simple uh, little setup for a few weeks away for work and holiday, for journaling, for uh, bullet journaling, for taking notes, just about everything. So I hope you found this little series useful. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. If you've got any questions or tips or uh, any sort of um, comments for people travelling with fountain pens uh, or what you do when you travel or if you've got any questions about how to travel with fountain pens, please leave them here. I'm doing Q&A videos so if you ask a question it might end up in one of those videos. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing and I'll see you when I get back.